Okay, Alex Max was here this time with a review of the ultra super rapid nickel metal hydride and, and nickel cadmium battery charger. Most of these chargers, I think I forgot to mention earlier, do work with nickel zinc because it charges in a similar fashion, which is called a negative delta. Uh, as the battery charges up, the resistance goes up, but when it reaches near the top, it actually switches over and goes back down. That's where all the fire hazards actually come from. We're on lead acid batteries. If you charge them at a lower voltage, say 13.2, they can be left plugged in for days if necessary. So I always recommend, you know, plug battery chargers into, you know, a safer area, as safe as possible, uh, just because there is always uh, a possibility of having some type of issue. And unfortunately, with battery chargers, <laughs> that can be pretty serious. But I've always had good luck with these Ultras. I actually have a couple of them. And what I like about this is these are this uh, style where it has an integrated power supply, no power cords, no power bricks. They have a deficiency where, of course, it's a plug sticking out of the back of a big charger, so you can't get too many into, you know, a power strip, even though they do try to offset it. You can do one this way, maybe another one like this. But they are a little less convenient in that sense. But they are more convenient in the sense that you can have a charger that's essentially pocket-sized, and you can have even store spare batteries right in it when you're not using it. And then this can just be tossed in a backpack and you don't have to worry about extra wires or anything. I generally don't recommend plugging in a charger with batteries in it. Uh, at least plug them in and then let it boot up. These are, of course, independent cells. So this is a four channel charger. And, you know, I have more of these kind of smaller, simpler ones. And when I find them either used or have certainly bought a couple new, uh, it's pretty obvious, you know, which ones are a little bit nicer. And what really set these apart is just the output charging current, which is 2 amps. And these are sold as a super rapid charger. Battery chargers, it seems, the amperage is, uh, the way they rate it is actually how you uh, would hope they would rate it, which is the current for each individual bay on a charger. They would have more specifications, as I've shown on other chargers, where... It'll tell you it'll deliver more power when there's two batteries, but a little bit less power when there's four batteries. And these guys just straight up average advertise two amps. As we can see, it's very odd that this thing has no part number. You just never do that. And since it's called the ultra super rapid, you know, charger, it's a horribly generic name. Both of these I found used, so I'm sure that they were sold in some kind of retail store. I go like going around to the flea markets and junk stores and actually a couple of these have turned up that's how i even know about them why i'm making a quick review let's go ahead and plug these guys in i'll turn off the lights so you can see or plug one of them in i always kind of like these modern ones because they're all digitally or you know they're fully electronically controlled uh, they do that so they have better sensitivity when the battery reaches full charge so you have less chance of a fire but they're actually just you know pretty much have a surprising amount of electronics in them so they boot up. So like when you plug this in, green, red, and then it goes to this little sequence. And I always thought that was kind of neat. Just knows it actually flashed after that too. Um, so I thought that was kind of neat. You know, gone are the days of the old horrible battery chargers. These things are high power. And, and they work with just any kind of old battery. And you just pop them in. and It does red. If there's an issue where it's just not taking any current or the voltage is too low, you can always do the trick where you just short out use a couple, couple, you know, spoons and short out the batteries, two batteries, one that has a charge, one doesn't, just to give it a quick boost. Otherwise, uh, these chargers are always pretty nice because whatever channel is having trouble charging, it will just blink the light. Anyway, for these generic name chargers, I did want to get these out there just because inevitably somebody's going to run into one of these things and finally figure out a part number. And if they do, and one of you d does, and puts it in the comments, I'll actually update the description with it. I looked through quite a bit of Google images and unfortunately the term ultra super rapid charger is pretty generic. Although it's interesting, you know, modern, even these double A, triple A style like that Tenor, there are so many unique ones for like the lithium ion cells like that Tenergy. Tenergy makes a huge array of chargers, including, you know, massive 16 bay, you know, kind of more institutional chargers. And yes, this is all kind of leading up, getting into what are called 
the best chargers you know sold or at one point were which were these lacrosse chargers they even got a first and second generation i'll make a big video about these but they're not uh what i think they're cut out to be and there's actually been some quite a few reported issues with those guys on a last note i actually have some little one amp hour uh, nickel cadmium batteries and these are still uh, made you can special order them you know they're around one amp hour is about the top uh, for a premium one there are some a little bit higher capacity but what's nice is that they really take a uh, quick charges and discharges very well they're very good for you know any kind of device that really just sucks down the batteries in an hour or two seems NICAD always is held up better in those type of situations plus storage and overall lifespan can be very high and with a 2 amp charger like this and a 1 amp battery means that it will charge a whole set of these things in 30 minutes, which can be convenient under certain situations. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody watching another Caddis Maximus review and another addition to my little charger series here. And I appreciate all the comments and support, even if I'm not able to respond to the comments to the level I you know, probably should be. I really do appreciate everybody's comments and all the subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.